Hello everyone, welcome to this demonstration of Veeam Backup for AWS. My name is Hani Imam and I am the Inside Systems Engineer for the Public Cloud Services at Veeam. In this demonstration, I will be walking you through some of the ways that Veeam Backup for AWS can help you restore your EC2 instances. Now let us walk straight into it to see how we can do this. From the main console, as you can see here, we will navigate to Protected Data Subtab in the left sidebar. From here, we can see the list of EC2 instances that we are available to do restores from, as well as the number of restore points. Over here, you can see those restore points, whether they're snapshots, replicas, or image level backups, as well as the region that they're stored in and what retention policy that they're following, as well as the storage class that they are kept in, whether that be standard, S3 Glacier or S3 Glacier Deep Archive. Or if it doesn't contain any identifying over here in the storage class, that means it is sitting on an EBS volume for a snapshot or a replica. Now to perform the restore, we're going to click on the EC2 instance that we're looking to restore. And then going up, clicking on restore and doing an instance restore. From here, we'll be able to select the restore point that we want to restore from. In this example, we will, then, we will restore from a backup. Click on Next. And then over here, we'll select the account that we want to restore into. From here, we have two options, either to restore back to the original location and overwrite the existing EC2 instance if it still is there, or restoring to a new location or different with different settings. Um, in case we wanted to restore back to the original location, but we didn't want to overwrite the existing one. So we'll choose the region. We'll go with US West. Next, we will select the encryption scheme, whether we want to keep the original encryption scheme attached to the restored instance, or we want to restore it as a new encrypted instance with different encryption keys. We will keep the original ones. From here, we'll, we can edit the instance type going with a different instance size for the restore. We can as well rename it. We'll give it a suffix of restore. Next, we'll be selecting the network that we want the restored instance to be living in, the VPC, the subnet, and the security group. We can also select if we did not want public IP to, to be assigned to the uh, restored instance. We'll keep that as unchecked right now. And then from here, we'll give it a reason uh, for, the, for the restore. And click Finish. Now, once we click Finish, we can go to the session logs and monitor the, the process. As this process takes a couple minutes, I will pause the video over here and continue once it's done. All right, so now we can see that this job has finished successfully. Now, if we navigate to our AWS console and navigate to the region where we restored the instance, over here, we'll be able to see our restored instance with the suffix in a different region. Now, let's go back to walk through the next option of doing restores, which are volume level restores. So if you navigate back to protected data, select the instance that we want to do a volume restore of, click on volume restore. From here, we'll be able to select the restore point again. We'll also go with the image level backup. And as well, if the instance that you're looking to do the volume level restores for has multiple disks attached to it, you'll be able to select the individual disks that you want to restore or restore. We'll leave this as unchecked since this is the one that we want to do a restore of. Go to next, select the account that we want to do the restore in, and then doing selecting the restore mode. Again, we have those two options, whether to restore back to the original location, which will overwrite the existing one, or if we wanted to keep it in the same location, but without overriding that one, we'll just have to select different settings. So we'll keep 
we'll go through the restoring to the same original location but without overriding the existing one. Click on Virginia, Availability Zone. And then over here, we also, again, we have the option to select to restore that volume with different encryption scheme. We'll keep the original. Over here, we'll be able to rename it. I'm gonna give it a re rename it so that we can restore it back to the original location. Give it a reason and then let it start. Again, I'll pause until this is done. Now that we can see from the session log that this restore has succeeded, we'll navigate back to our AWS console and then click on volumes, go to the region where we initiated the restore in, and over here we'll be able to see that restored volume. Now let's go back to the Veeam console and do the last way of recovery, which is the file level recovery. And this, as the name says, allows you to restore individual files and folders instead of doing a full instance restore to reduce your restore cost. So now that we selected the instance that we're looking to do restore, navigate to restore, click on file level recovery. And again, we'll be able to re select the restore point. We'll go with the image level backup again. Click on next. Over here, if we kept all of this as default, what we'll be able to do from the restored instance is restore but only and download those individual files and folders into our local machine. But if we toggle this into on, we'll be able to increase our restore rate to increase the speed uh, of how long this process can take. And as well, if we check this box over here, we'll be able to restore back into the original location, whether that be overwriting or keeping the original files and folders. Go into giving it a reason, click on next, finish. And right now it's preparing the worker node where that will be able to access. Now, once the worker node has been already created and the volume has been attached, we will see a URL pop up over here. If we click on that URL, it will take us into that page. And from here, we'll be able to browse through the different folders that we have on the left hand side. We can select those individual folders to add to the restored list. Select individual files, browse through them. Once we have all the files and folders that we're looking to restore, we can go up to the restore list. And from here, we can either download them into our local machine or restore them by keeping the original files and folders in place or overriding them. So in short, let's recap what is it that we covered in today's demonstration. We did full EC2 instance restores to a new location with different settings. We did restored EBS volumes to the same location with different settings and restored individual files and folders through the file level recovery wizard. I hope you find this demonstration useful and insightful and hope to see you in my next video.